friends, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Today we are doing some retail arbitrage at TJ Maxx. I'm sorry if my hand's a little shaky. This intro won't be long. There's Bye Bye Baby. There's a TJ Maxx right there. We're going to do some retail arbitrage. If you are an Amazon newbie and I use some terms that maybe you don't understand like ungate or gating or sales rank, I will leave my link to the Amazon beginners video that I did um, and I explain all that. I think it's very helpful. You guys told me it's helpful. Let's go shopping and I'll check in with you at the end. What else do I want to tell you? That's it. I'm ready to go shop. I always buy some things for myself or for Zane when I'm in here in my nine month old, so I'll probably be shopping for that too. But I like this TJ Maxx. I usually get some good stuff. All right, let's go. Right, first up, I hit the beauty section. I tend to have a lot of luck here. I scanned this perfume and there were a lot of sellers. I think at the time I'm filming this, there were like 20 or 30 sellers and there was not enough profit to be made. I think it's, what were they charging? $15 there and then on Amazon, I think it was only selling for like 25 or $22. Ray Dunn, very popular brand. This was not selling for very much on Amazon or eBay. I always look at Ray Dunn on Amazon and eBay to see how it's doing there. Um, very popular brand though, definitely worth checking comps. I could not get this to scan, even the barcode, even the front, um, but typically I am gated in premium beauty. That's those higher end beauty products. I'll show you some more examples of that. I'm going to look into getting ungated in that though, because every time I scan that stuff, there is so much profit to be made, you guys. But I've also noticed that every time I scan premium beauty, Amazon is on the listing, meaning Amazon is actually selling that item too. So... I will keep you posted on how that ungating process goes if I'm able to get ungated. So like I said, I spend a lot of time in beauty. Um, I spend a lot of time in all sections of these stores, but I've noticed that there's a lot of profit to be made here. So scan, scan away and see if you were able to sell any of this stuff. Um, that Origins, I think it was a face wash. I did end up scanning but what happened with that? There were a lot of sellers. This, Malin and Goetz, I think that's how you pronounce this brand. Oh man, this was great, you guys. It's a cleansing oil. So this was um, selling for $16.99 at TJ Maxx, but on Amazon, I think it was selling for $45 and there were only one or two sellers, I think, because everyone's gated in it, probably like I am. It's considered premium beauty and Amazon was also one of the two sellers. So if you're in gated and you can sell that, you might wanna check that out because there's lots of profit to be made. I do scan, like, you know how TJ Maxx has these sections of these uh, body gloves and foot, foot mask and face mask, but I usually don't find anything there. I do find some goodies in the hair products. I didn't stop here, but these little slip bridesmaids face mask, uh, there was some profit to be made there. TJ Maxx was charging $25, but you guys, there were literally 50 sellers on the day I was filming this, selling that, so too much competition. So I passed on those. We're going into Q4. I love selling new with tags items. This is a great place, the shoe section, to look for eBay and Amazon, you guys. I do so well selling new with tag shoes that I pick up from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. The one thing I don't like about this store is that they don't have shoe boxes, which I like for my own personal buying, but I know that a lot of buyers, especially uh, for brands like Fry, I'm going to show you some Stuart Weitzman boots. People like to have boxes. It doesn't matter to me, but I just know over the years of selling, you don't have to have them though. If they're in great condition um, and they have the original tags, these also don't have the original tags. So these are just things that people look for, you know, when they're buying people gifts. I don't think people care as much, like I said, if they're buying for themselves, but Q4, Christmas, Thanksgiving, people are buying gifts. These Stuart Weitzman boots are so good. I wish I could have bought them for myself, but I just bought myself some Stuart Weitzman knee-high boots. I have no business buying any more boots, but how cute are these? But uh, they wanted, I think, $159. And honestly, you guys, you could probably, I looked up the style and flip these and sell them for like 300 so double your money. 
But again, no box, no original tag. So that makes a difference when you're selling higher end items. People like to see those things. They even will ask me for the, um, not the, tra what's it called? The dust bag to put the shoes in. So I passed on those, but I have no problem paying, you know, 200, $300 for an item if I can double my money. Or usually when I'm paying that much, honestly, I more than double my money, but that's a whole other video. So I spent quite a bit of time in the shoes. Um, I cut this a little short. I don't show you guys real time how long, because I was actually in the store for 45 minutes, but I spent quite a bit of time in the shoe section and I actually did pick up a couple of pairs, but that's more so to sell on uh, eBay. If I'm selling shoes on Amazon, I have to have the box. Okay, this self-tanner, Sandra Pay, is really popular. I was really hoping I could sell this, but again, this was under Premium Beauty. TJ Maxx wanted $9.99, and I think the time I'm filming this, it was close to $40 on Amazon. So if you are ungated, go and check that out. Toys, 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 friends. Q4, I love selling toys. I love selling toys, board games year-round. I don't know what happened, but... You know how I always complain that these stores like slow down your internet. So scanning was dreadfully slow. But right when I got to the toys, they must have turned off their internet jammer because I was able to scan so quickly. I was able to go through that entire toy, sec toy section in like 20, 25 minutes. That's where I spent the majority of my time. And when I tell you I scanned everything, I am not kidding. I probably scanned everything. And I scored big. I'll tell you the net profit once we get to the end of the video. But scan, scan away, friends, in the toy section. Next up, I checked out baby clothing. Um, one, I told you I have a nine-month-old, so I just like looking at this stuff. And two, sometimes I actually score some pretty good stuff in the baby clothing, you guys. Not all the time. It's not as uh, prevalent as in the beauty section and everything, but I did pick up a couple baby items, new with tags, to send in to FBA. So let's go to the car. I'm going to tell you the net profit, how long I stayed in there, and give you some more tips. Okay, you guys. I'm sorry my steering wheel is in the way, but I figure it's better than me holding it and my hand shaking with the camera shaking. That was a very successful trip. I was only in there for 40, 45 minutes, and we've got $150 in profit. I scored in toys. I scored in the beauty product section. So scan, 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 friends. Even if you are new, some of those products you may, may be able to sell. You just never know. When I, I'm trying to think back, because I've been selling on Amazon for, all, it's about three and a half years right now. I remember not being able to sell any toys, so that might be iffy, but clothing was good. Certain beauty products, definitely not as many as I can sell now. Home goods, home goods, home goods. I'm talking kitchenware, pots, pans, uh, dish towels, uh, bath towels, like all that stuff. I was good to go, so go out and get some money, friends. I feel like this video might be a little short, so I'm actually going to go to my storage unit, and I figured I'd just take you guys along with me and show you some things that sold. I don't know. Why not throw it in here? I got a phone call in there. My tenants, if you are new around here, I have an investment property. It's a condo, two bedroom. I'm trying to think. I put it as two baths, but it's technically one and a half bath. Nobody ever fights me on it. <laughs> two bath um, townhouse and my tenants just said that the refrigerator or something's going on. So I have to send a repairman out for that. But every time these like condo repairs come up on my investment property, I'm like, Nicole, just remember all repairs are a write off. That's what my CPA always tells me. Don't freak out about it. Cause I had to give them a new water heater, which was like almost $2,000. So I didn't give it to them. It's my property, right? I'm fixing it up. But new water heater this year, and now the fridge, and then something else. Oh, the air conditioning was leaking. That was another $450. So I've put all the profit that I make back on this condo, I'm putting it back into it, which is good, though. Um, anyways, real estate talk. Shameless plug. If you're looking for a real estate agent in California, I always leave my real estate email down below. But... I mean, this channel's all about making money, right? So sometimes I like to share real estate stuff with you guys. I did a tour of a condo in Beverly Hills that I was touring for one of my clients on this channel. If you guys want to see more, 
it's just like house hunter style. I basically just show you guys properties that I'm looking at for my clients. And I know some of you enjoy it. It's not for everyone. But if you guys want me to keep doing that, not all the time, maybe like once or twice a month on this channel, let me know. I would love to start a real estate channel, you guys, but I just have too much going on right now. Sometimes I just have to say, Nikki, you've got enough going on. Just relax. But if wishes for fishes and I'm putting it out in the universe and I had a bunch of help, like an assistant, like a nanny or something then I would definitely start a real estate channel because I love real estate one of my passions along with reselling anyways let's go to storage because I feel like this video is not that long $150 in profit I love selling on Amazon case in point this is one of the reasons this is one of the reasons why you're going to be seeing a lot more Amazon videos let's go to storage Thank you. 